about. Repair the road and stop telling me that you are not now, you are south now, you are east now, you are Kominini and Kominini. What has that got to do with us? Look at what is happening from the spirit in Akusu Buddha. Yes, many of the people come from Mepe, they come from all those areas and so on. But tell me that those who are so it's in for Nyan Shefo, a movie beer, Kwaba Sunko, and over daily updates. So, Hannah Babin, your training is a echo so manga and a panches and all she if I. Yes, I need a need you concern and did you come by subscribe to our channel on nothing. So, oh, I drink she be a bit in the above comment session and be within in a muffin. Some of you are shame. I'm more down for an onion. Yes, I'm in good street to a major issue. A yoke was a brat, a barbon thing, a becky can a boss was some panch and another pan or say. And now is the most man, the most stupid guy, just a woman who be that will be our flat that fabi mon or quaco can and same in some machine cries to a man for no. Or say and your and your moon tonight, and yes, our motor by man of crampo and go on back. No as him no more a rating our motor by man and a mobile be now passing or by the warmer. No nation could see better before. Can I know we didn't attempt my degrees now with hot as possible and what I'm saying? I'm going to Selling your destiny for four years, you are giving your destiny to somebody for four years. That destiny, hands of an idiot, you will suffer. If you place that destiny into the hands of a crook, you will suffer. It will suffer. So next time we go to vote. Let's think twice before we select those we are going to vote for. Hey, if you are not sure about the person or the party and so on, don't vote. It is not. So vote for only parties and candidates that you know will listen to you in moments of crisis. Vote for parties and candidates who will do something about the concrete problems which confront us today. I vote on the basis of ethnicity. November 4 is just around the corner. So Biden and our own president, His Excellency Nana Dodan Kwakufuado, the way they talk just reinforces all these stereotypes. I believe firmly, not that I believe, it's a fact. They are very stupid young men in the world. Very extremely stupid young men in the world. And they are equally extremely stupid old men in the world. You understand? So for me, age is not the factor. You could have very young men who are brilliant, who have a commitment to serve their country and so on. And you could have old men who can do the same. But you see, what, what is before us is Joe Biden and the one we have in Ghana Oh my goodness, old age suffers. What is this? The whole president goes to the president and if it was because of who voted for me, I wouldn't be here. What? President? No president of one of the countries that I know, like Central African Republic or something. President of Ghana. The man who steps into the shoes of a certain Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, that's all he can tell us. My goodness. And then, now, we have turned the place into, into, into some kind of a circus. Every politician is carrying mattresses and... Uh... <laughs> hey, what is this? They're all carrying mattresses and what? And, and bags of rice and so on. What does that do to the people there? What does that? All of them, look at them. And then the press, we are so busy following them with our cameras. When they cough, we record. When they do other things too, we record. Other things that I cannot mention on the show. Competition. Who is carrying more mattresses than the other? They are carrying mattresses on articulators and so on. For what? Is that the solution? Oh, master! They make they make running a country so cheap, so very cheap. All you have to do is to sit down, sleep. Ah, when you wake up and there's a disaster, you carry a mattress. For those who keep money in their houses, you look under the bed. 
carry a few CDs, buy a few mattresses and carry them and make sure that they, we are captured by the media and go and give it to the people. They spend three hours there, they go back home. The people don't even have a place to put the mattress they sent. <laughs> The mattress, they say, you don't have a place to go and put it. So it becomes an extra bed. You are carrying the mattress, you don't know where to put it. What a joke. Masa. I think we've got to start thinking. What do we do with that mass? How do we do all the things that we can do with that water? and still not fall into disasters. And it is not beyond us. You have a whole university for science and technology. Whole university, science and technology. Huh? You are training biochemists on a daily basis. You are training architects. You are training engineers and so on. What are you doing with them? You see? Hmm. Sana, do you know something that happens in this country? You send somebody to school. He's educated, becomes a, a holder of a doctorate degree in architecture. Any time he's going to work, he goes and consults a prophet who dropped out of school to tell him what to do so that God doesn't curse him. His whole knowledge in architecture is surrounded to a drop, school drop out who pretends to understand the Bible. That's where we are. I was talking to a medical officer the other day. Hmm. And I said to myself, hey, no matter what disease I get, <laughs> no matter what pain I feel, I would never go to this medical officer. He's a medical officer, he's going to school, he did medicine for seven years, he's done other specialist courses and so on. And he says that the power of healing is in the hands of Jesus Christ. So if you go to his clinic, before he, he attends to you, he spends five, ten minutes praying with you so that Jesus will show him the way. What did you go to medical school for? <laughs> You, what did you go to medical school for? Somebody like that is a danger yeah. to all his patients. It's a clear danger to all his patients. And does not deserve his certificate as a, as a practicing medical practitioner. As a medical practitioner. He doesn't. That's a, you, you can't pray. I can pray myself. Eh? Do you need yeah, any special pray, thing yeah, to pray? Can't pray we can't pray. So we can all we can set up clinics, <laughs> and when we get patients, we we'll ask Jesus Christ to show us the way. And he, who told him that Jesus is real life? So healthcare is a common thing for all of our tribes and so on. Look, the Accra, where? Accra is our road. Is it only one tribe that uses that road? So all of us are prone to accidents because of bad roads. Well, I'm a fancy, so what? I'm a gun, so what? The road is bad. It will kill an Ebe. It will kill a Frafra. It will kill a Dagomba. It will kill all of us. Repair the road and stop telling me that you are not now, you are south now, you are east now, you are Komunini and Komunini. What does that got to do with us? Look at what is happening from the spirit in Akusu Buddha. Yes, many of the people come from Mepe, they come from all those areas and so on. But tell me that those who are suffering, they don't come from all the tribes of Ghana. Tell me that those who are suffering do not have all of the religious states that we have in the country. And so on. So it is sickening. It is so very sickening. And then, you know, there are two presidents in the world who appear. When I hear some of the campaign messages, I feel like puking. Oh, 
there is on the north. And so what? He's on the north. And so what? My brother. And I'm making direct reference to a large doctor, Timothy Mahmoud Baumia. He's on the north. So what? When did he realize that the North deserves the presidency? That's assuming that even ethnic and regional politics is, 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 is allowable. When did he realize that? He was so busily campaigning to remove a Northerner from office as president. And that I didn't know that it was important for Northerners to hold on to the presidency and so on. When did he realize that? And yet it has become part of the campaign. It's from the North. And so what? You know, but that is how we have run our politics. The other time I was talking about some politician, and everywhere he went, he had risen mm -hmm, to be considered as part of that community. One politician. He went to Tamale. Oh, his ancestors were Dagumbas, so he's also a Dagumba. <laughs> hey, he went to Kumasi, he became an Ashanti instantly. He went to Central Region, he became a Fanti instantly, and so on. He went to visit Chief Imam. Oh, he's a Muslim. He went to a church that he remembered that way, way back. He used to be a member of Boys Brigade. Master, what is this? Look, Muslims, Christians, Jews, uh, 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 what? All of them. Tigari, Akuneji, all of them. <laughs> if they don't get portable water to drink, they will die. Yeah. So there's something which is common to all the religions. Access to portable water, that's what we need. You understand? That's what we need. All of us, whether we are Gans, Frafras, Dagombas, or Fantis, or whatever, when we fall sick, we expect to be treated, to be nurtured back to red to the nation and people living downstream. Unbelievable! I mean, incredible. We have planners in this, in this special planners in our country uh, who plan how to build our habitats and so on. And we have a, a, a regime, a legal regime, who says that you can't just wake up in the morning and build anywhere. You need to go through process of acquiring permit. They also went to sleep. They completely forgot about their jobs and they went to sleep. They slept soundly. Some of them were even snoring. <laughs> Unbelievable. We have a whole ministry eh, of what? Energy. Whole ministry of energy. With all the aspects. What were they doing? They were sleeping. I incredible. And then we have not more. What did it do? It also went to sleep. Is anybody telling us that we decided to spill this water hmm, without first and foremost stimulating the consequences? Checking out what would happen if we spill this amount of water. Is anybody telling us that the minister was not briefed before the spillage? And if the minister was briefed, what questions did he ask? What arrangements did he make to avoid this disaster? Unbelievable. Then yesterday, the man who surrenders everything in prayers <laughs> did not continue surrounding the disaster to prayers. He went there to do what? Can you for that jumped into a car and went there to do what? What 
what was the purpose of his visit there? Sympathy visit? To assess the damage? Does he have the capacity to assess the damage? To evaluate what the also, a cousin or cousin, especially in our course on Bodam or no, to say a country Bianca, leaders for no more journey, a bad dream by Junior, and car and can you say in car a or more that sorry, no Marco or Marco Mamma mattress, say if you are one that sorry, see, 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 if you are on a mattress now, they come on a cramp or no more they dying. I didn't know for baby, I'm a mattress, they got dying. Just a new book for him, as I was a me, John, no, 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 Cassa, yes, I'm. As a mid limb caca, I mean, Jan on one casa, what did you mad me about? People need, does he have the capacity? And so, look, we should stop these jokes because the disasters are painful enough. But when our elected officials and high office holders reduce it to a joke, it's like rubbing salt into our injury. You know, Kwame Nkrumah Intertain, Kwame Nkrumah Circle, I'm sure. For many years, decades, we will sit down and allow the place to flood. And then when the place gets flooded, it becomes what they call a photo opportunity for politicians. All of them wear Wellington boots and they go and stand in the rain and take photographs. Then the next day, it splash on our front pages. For decades, that's how politicians were behaving in this country. One of them even went to the extreme. They're rolling some coal. They will put a canoe on top of the flooding. And you'll be rolling the canoe to score points. We are fed up with these clueless politicians. We are fed up with them. They insult us on a daily basis. You understand? They insult us all the time. And, and the funny thing is that they think that they are being smart. When they take advantage of these disasters which lead to killing, to all kinds of things and so on, in order to boost their electoral chances, they insult us. Because they tell us that we, we, we are yo-yos. You understand? And I feel very, very disgusted about what has happened. Completely avoidable. Look, when the dam was built, we knew that going into the future, these things could happen. Various measures were taken. One of the various measures we were taking was simply the relocation of those who were likely to be affected in the future, immediate future. Can you believe that even the compensation for those victims, they didn't get the compensation. Politicians went and collected the monies and talked. Can you believe that? I did a story for one of these international news agencies about one settlement. And I was there for three days, you know, just doing background checks and so on. I said, amazing. They have no school, no health facilities, and they don't enjoy electricity. The people who suffered to create the electricity did not have electricity. Can you believe it? I mean, how callous can our leaders be? I can't believe this. You have the Volta River coming all the way from Burkina Faso and slowly, slowly coming out, passing through Akosobo Dam and emptying into the sea at Ada. The potential of the Volta River Huh? for the production of fish in any country where the leaders think, in any country where the leaders solve problems and so on, the Volta River alone should be able to provide our fish, fish needs. And yet, we are importing fish. Now, what's amazing huh, is that the potential we have is not just the Volta River. There are so many other rivers. But in addition to all the other rivers that we have, we are also sitting on the beach of the Atlantic Ocean. And we are importing fish. These are the leaders we have. Next year will be election year. You will hear the promises which will be thrown at us. 
the last time it was it was it was uh, 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 w w w one district or one constituency w w one million yeah. <coughs> dollars uh, and they're not ashamed they even quote it in dollars when they know that it's against the law in mass of 2024 they'll be telling us one village one aeroplane <laughs> When they are making the promises, they don't even care whether the promises make sense or not. They just open their mouth, wow, and then they spill garbage. Look at what you're suffering. When did the Volta River Authority come to the conclusion that they needed to spill water? And when they came to the conclusion that they needed to spill water, what did they do in order to avoid the kind of situation we have today? Look, today, and, and it pains me that we are talking about water. Go to any of the so-called upmarket supermarkets in Accra, Kumasi, Tamale, and so on. We are importing water. We are importing water. In fact, the so-called elite, now when they organize their birthday parties and their weddings and so on, they don't use Ghana water. Oh. Master, water distilled in Ghana is not used. Special ice. Don't. They buy specially imported water. That's how backward and useless our elite have become. Even water. They won't buy Ghana water. Now we are now we are news. Ababe Tujwe was saying, "My mum, my mum, I am not daily update. Kwa, I am daily update. My mum update. Be a mujiri se samiri no. When ya." Check